welcome to Shifting Impressions, Conversations with the Realm of Beings with me, Greta Chamberlain, Yvonne Crayer, Lee Steimer, and the Realm of Beings. Shifting Impressions, which is one of the vehicles that supports the transmission of the Realm of Beings, is here to assist you in delving into your being by providing numerous topics and discussions for you to intake as you deepen your connection with your inner world. Shifting Impressions is here to assist you in strengthening yourself as you excavate to understand your true nature. Lee, Yvonne, and myself with the Realm of Beings eagerly invite you to join us today and learn to shift your mindset, shift your thoughts, and shift your focus to recreate your life and produce a new you. Shifting Impressions starts now. Hello and welcome to Shifting Impressions, Conversations with the Realm of Beings. I'm Lee and I'm joined by Greta today and as always, the Realm of Beings. And we're very happy to be on Transformation Talk Radio every Friday morning, live at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. These conversations will help you examine your life, and your creation of reality, what you're creating and how it shows up. So Greta, good morning. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> uh, for those of you who may be new to the podcast, each week we uh, discuss a quotation that Greta has downloaded from the realm. And this week we will be chatting about lessons. The quotation is, one suggestion from us is that you learn as, as many lessons as you can, unless you want to create to continue learning them as you progress through tr your transitional portals. So like always, there's a lot in there. And uh, where should we begin, Greta? Lessons, transitional portals. <laughs> I think transitional portals, because okay. I think many people are in our listening audience may not know what that is, and what that is is that um, uh, I'll put it in a context that most people are used to, and that is heaven. Ah, you're going heaven. to heaven. heaven. Yes, you're going to heaven. So. Um, but what happens in that, now we're going to translate that heaven word into transitional portal. So death, first of all, death is not real. Death is uh, just an illusion, but it's a means for us to progress and for us to go through our own spiritual evolution. So that's what the, the death process is all about. So uh, when you, and you die, I want to put this in there, that when you make your transition or when you die, um, you um, will, you would have chosen when you're going to go and how you're going to go already before you got here. Now, the thing is that that's a, a form of creation of your own reality. So you can choose uh you can change your mind. Like, uh, like for instance, myself, I was supposed to transition out of here. I had uh, said I wanted to go at 82. Well, I don't have, uh, I knew I said with the task that I have to finish, I'm not going to make it by 82. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, let's extend it. So uh, somewhere around 97. So I've got about 20 more years left in this reality. So, um, I can change it. You can change it. Now, how I'm going to go, uh, I haven't truly, truly decided, but I do know one thing. I'd, I'd prefer to go like my uh, great-grandfather did and just sleep away. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't need drama or trauma to exit with. So, uh, And that's going to be my choice. It's everybody's choice how you're going to go. And it's changeable, you said, right? I mean, if Absolutely. we made some plan... Before getting here, if we decide to pivot for one reason or another, Absolutely. we can do that. We can change our belief, right? I Absolutely. mean, I guess a lot of us probably don't know 
or we think we don't know. So is it good to make a more conscious plan? Um, you can, if you want to, it's your choice. Because see, okay. that's, that's going to be your reality. You're going to create the you're going to create the reality of when you're leaving here, and you're going to create the reality how you're going to leave here. Now, okay. the rest of us that are left behind, we may think that, oh, he went too early. You know, mm -hmm. some people leave at the age of five, physical right. life at the age of five. You know, some people say, oh, they left too early. But see, it's not about leaving too early or too late. It's when you decide that you want to go. Because each person, um, each individual is in charge of uh, is in charge of their reality, and living or dying is your reality is a is a reality. So you choose that. So you always have control over that. Always. I'm sorry, you're going to say something, Lee. Oh, I was just saying. I mean, to people who may be new to this idea right to this creation of reality idea uh i think many people you know just think that death is like a random thing you know uh so i feel like in this creation of reality discussion it i mean since i'll just say for for me, maybe before I learned this information, I was just thinking, who knows when you go, when your number's up, it's up, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That it wasn't a conscious decision that you made. So I guess what I'm getting at, um, it would be wise for us to maybe start thinking about it, making a plan. No, not really, because you already... Uh, you already created that. You already established that before you before conception. Mm -hmm. uh, when you were in the incarnate stage, you you uh, decided all of this. When you come here into this reality, it's just a matter of do you want to adhere to it or not. You might like. I just happen to remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that doesn't mean everybody's going to remember that. It's not that I'm right. special. I just remembered that, and right. I decided I want to change it because I got I have so many tasks to do, and and I'm staying more focused now on what I have to accomplish because I only have 20 years left. I've decided. Let me put it to you like mm -hmm. that. I have decided I have 20 years left, and I want to finish it. You know, I I don't need to live to be 105. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just I, that that's but that's Greta. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that, you know, somebody else would want to live to be 105. You know, my great grandfather died when he was in a uh, was 100. Mm -hmm. You know, his mother died when she was 103. So, you know, I know in my family, I can uh, say genetically, I can go ahead and do that if I want to. But um, I'm really not interested in that. I just want to right now stay in focus about what I have to accomplish mm -hmm. and, and then I want to move on and that's what we're going to be talking about later in this podcast the moving on mm -hmm. right so I guess that's what I was trying to get at you remember you know you remember that you made an agreement to maybe go at 70 something and then you it, decided mm -hmm. oh okay and then mm -hmm. you decided oh I need more time here so I guess my question is for people who may not remember that they made a plan already, <laughs> is it good for them to maybe just have more like conscious awareness that I can choose when and how I exit this plane? Um, if they want to, they mm -hmm. can choose that. They can choose that on a conscious level. Uh, they can say, well, I don't remember and I don't know when I want to go, but this is the time that I'd like to exit and, and move on. Mm -hmm. So each person is different. Uh, some people are going to stay with the idea that it's happen chance, mm -hmm. that they have no control over when they're going to uh, leave. 
Um, right. Some people will believe uh, that that's going to be determined by God. So they mm -hmm. don't have anything to do with it. There's so many belief systems uh, tied into transitioning. Mm -hmm. you know, some people uh, believe, uh, I've forgotten what they call it now, uh, but they're, that they're just going to go up. They're just going to go up. So they believe that heaven is up. You mm -hmm. see, that's where we start getting to that other belief system, that directionality. Heaven is up, <laughs> hell is down, you know. Right. So, uh, but that's not the case. Right. That's not the case at all. Yeah. So um, progress through your transitional portal. So now I think we've talked about what a transitional portal is. Mm -hmm. That's an opening in space that uh, you go to. Um, sometimes I've had to travel with people to the transitional portal because they uh, had fear of dying. Some people mm -hmm. are afraid of that process and they've forgotten that they've already died several times. And I'll explain that later on as, as we go, or maybe the, the realm will come in and talk about it. But um, it's to, um, it's when you get into, you, you first, after you make your transition, that means, how do you do that? Uh, the etheric body, your etheric body, let's just assume we have one now. We know we have millions of them, but let's let's just assume we have one. There's an etheric body that goes with your, um physical body uh you can your etheric body can start to fade it gets lighter and lighter and lighter until it, it's totally disintegrated and that's the point that you're going to uh, let it go and you'll be consciously in a different reality or it can appear that parts body parts can disappear like if uh, if i see someone and they're missing an arm in another reality that i work in then i know oh this person is trying to uh, transition out of here so that's that's the signs when you know uh there when you read in certain books it talks about a silver cord when the silver cord is broken uh, then you're going into your transition um, I have not found that to be accurate. Um, I found that it's actually the etheric body that disintegrates it's in one of those two ways, and then you and then you exit out. Now, after you've exited out, then you're going to be going to a transitional portal. Now, some people decide that. They don't want to go to a transitional portal because they are afraid or they don't want to leave their physical belongings behind. So they decide that they want to stay here. And when they stay here, they become uh, what you would call ghosts. And they're mm -hmm. different types of, of ghosts, you know, and you see them walking around and um, and if they if they died traumatically, then they're going to be uh, in the same place where they died. Even though you'll be burying their body in the ground or cremating the physical body and so forth, but that individual will be in the same place. So those who decide they feel very confident in moving on then they're going to be in a part where they look at what, um, what lessons have I learned? What lessons do I still have to learn? And what do you mean they like look like who, who like what lessons? It's just some thoughts that come into the mind that let you know what, your lessons are how does well, that work? See, when you when you leave when you leave and make your transition you're no longer subjected to this illusion yeah mm -hmm. you're in a space where you're not uh in illusion 
So therefore, you're able to contact that part of yourself to get that information. So okay. you know what uh, lessons uh, you haven't learned. And maybe even on the conscious level, uh, many of us can figure out what lessons uh, we had to learn anyway, like because of the experiences that we create. Like for me, one of mine was abandonment. Because mm -hmm. when I was a child, my father, you know, left uh, left me. In fact, around my birthday, I guess it was, I wanted to be a, it to be significant to me that he left. So when he left, you know, I went into that whole thing of my father left me and because mm -hmm. um, he moved to California. So I and didn't take me with him, but took my mm -hmm. other two brothers from another marriage with him. So that's how I learned I could be abandoned. So abandon and it went that whole concept of abandonment, that lesson stayed with me for a long time, all the way up until now, basically. About maybe three or four years ago, I was still dealing with abandonment issues. Okay, so since you brought it up, I'm just gonna pivot a little bit. <laughs> okay, go ahead, pivot, pivot. But, so is, can you ever actually be abandoned? Or is that the lesson of abandonment that we have to learn that no one can ever abandon us? It's well, like see, we all, abandon ourselves. Well, all of these lessons, I think, are illusions to begin with. That's right. All. So abandonment is another illusion. But the thing is that... But it feels real, you know, when you're... Absolutely. You know, they all when, feel real. Right, right, right. Every last, every last talk on one of them. And that's part of the illusion. That's part of mm -hmm. coming into this, this particular uh, reality that we're in. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, re-ask that question for me again, Lee. What did you guess? My question was, is the lesson to learn about abandonment that you actually can never be abandoned? In actuality, no, you can't. It's like in actuality, you can't be sick. Mm -hmm. Because we're divine beings. We're the force, so we can't be sick. But the illusion mm -hmm. is that we can take on the illusion of illness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, so, okay, by that token, so then we take on this feeling of, oh, my dad was here, my lover was here, and now they're gone. Or, you know, my sister left me. Uh, but in the crux of it, you know, what what is in that lesson for us? Do you know, like, are we trying, like, is the lesson to learn that you are okay, no matter who comes or goes? Uh, you know, what's the core abandonment healing or, you know, so we don't keep experiencing it? Well, I think the first thing we have to do is to recognize that I've been abandoned and how am I feeling about that? You know, mm -hmm. I might be feeling angry. I might be feeling sad. I have other emotions and other illusions that I'm going to take on and to build on to that lesson of abandonment. See, we mm -hmm. build on it. So, um, and it will seem real to me and I will create because I've accepted it as a lesson and I have not learned it because I went down in the valley of sadness over it. That shows you I didn't learn it. I can, then it shows you I didn't learn when I created other situations for myself to recreate being abandoned. Because that shows you I have I just haven't learned it yet. Because I keep doing Ooh. the same thing over and over again. But right, yeah. so how do like do we all learn? Like, do we all have something different to learn from abandonment? Or is there one sort of overarching? you know, like it's a archetype emotion. So there's like one overarching thing that we have to pick up. Like, how do we know we've figured it out? Well, the one thing to all these lessons, the one thing, and and, and I know we've been talking about it all the time on, on the podcast. And the one thing that goes deep into that is loving yourself. 
That is okay. a big lesson. We could have 500 lessons, mm -hmm. 500 experiences, but the bottom line of all those 500 experiences is for us to love ourselves. Because when we love ourselves, even though we don't even remember that we're the force, but if we love ourselves, we're honoring that inner being. We're honoring um, our divinity because we are divine beings, you know. So that that's the the arching goal is okay. love of self with any any of these uh, low vibrational experiences. The bottom line is love yourself. Yeah. So once you um, once you have um, oh I want to say this separation. So there are two really big big lessons that all of us have to experience, and that is loving ourselves, that self love, unconditional self love, and separation that there is no separation. Those are two of the main ones that we come in here with, everybody uh, is in a state of seeing things separate and not as one. And then we have to go through other lessons so that we can learn what is oneness. What does it mean that I'm one with everything? You have to relearn that. Right, that's huge. Yeah, it is, it is. And sometimes it'll take many transitions. Um, I want to make this clear with the audience that there is no past lives. There are no past lives. Uh, that's impossible because here on this planet Earth, in this particular reality that we're in, uh, we believe in time. Mm -hmm. We brought in the whole concept of time so we could figure out how to handle ourselves. You know, I got to be at work at nine o'clock. I've got to go to church at two you know, different things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've captured that whole thing about time. Then uh, we sometimes in our sleeping uh, will feel that we've been somewhere else or that we've been someone else. So because we, we don't think that we're that particular person right now, so we think of it as being past because mm -hmm. we the concept of time so we say it's past but see there is no past there is no future uh all this it's all realities occurring all simultaneously you it we could be on universe number 235 somebody else is on universe number 26 but everything even what that person is going through in universe 26 while we're going through some things in universe 235, all of that is all going on simultaneously. And the force, that's how wonderful the force is because it can manage all that. And it's growing right. through that, yeah. So transitional portals, once we make our transition and we feel safe about it, um, usually I visualize it, and I know I've created to visualize it like that, um, in a in a space, in a very small space with one chair sitting there and kind of like an amber glowing light. But when you walk in there, it's very calm and peaceful. Mm -hmm. So that is when you sit there, you think about, okay, what, is, what have I learned? What have I not learned? And what you have not learned, you're going to have to continue. Because see, we made a commitment to learn those lessons before we had before conception. We made a commitment. We said, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to adhere to the commitment. So you're going to keep going from transitional portal to transitional portal to transitional portal until you have learned all of that and that you fully uh, understand that you are the force. So now what is, so what happens next after you, um, after you sit down and you figure out what you've got to learn and what you don't have to learn, or what, you know, well, what happens next is then you decide at what point do you want to start um, to learn this? 
some people will start to want to go back to childhood and begin there. Some people want to start as an adult and start there. But the interesting thing about this is, because I, I said, how is it that, because uh, I, I had a lady uh, that I facilitated for in New Zealand and she made her uh, transition. And when I went to make sure she was okay, I went into the transitional portal um, and I saw her and she was going into her house and it was her house when she was a child. So she decided that there were lessons that she wanted to learn and she wanted to start back at childhood and then work her way forward again, you see. So we, so we just, that, so we just keep creating do we keep creating the same thing? Do we keep creating the same people to learn the lessons You're with? We're going to be Lee all the way through. Now, what <laughs> happens is, yeah. All right. But, yeah. What happens is we're in lateralities. And I've, I think we touched on that. But think of a laterality as a hallway. You're in a hallway. Okay. You're Lee. Lee's got to stay in that hallway because that's the reality that she decided she was going to come into. I'm coming into this laterality. Now there are a lot of lateralities. You can connect to other individuals in other lateralities, but that's done energetically. Like mm -hmm. if you think you're somebody else, you're probably that individual that you think you are is in a different laterality experiencing another set of lessons or the same set of lessons. Okay. So, but for you, you as Lee and me as Greta, Greta, we're going to be right here in this laterality. And laterality is going to infinity. But this is the laterality that we chose. So, so this with, podcast will never end. <laughs> absolutely. You got that right. For real. It won't Shifting end. Shifting impressions into infinity. It's, it's, into infinity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because once we actualize something, it stays in actualization. Mm -hmm. Nothing is. And probabilities. See, everything is a reality. I've stopped dealing, uh, and I've mentioned this to others, I've stopped dealing with the concept of dimensions. That you're in the third dimension, you're in the fourth dimension, you're in the fifth dimension. Um, and because what it does is it alludes to uh, separation, you know, because, you, and then if you're going to the fourth dimension, you're going higher. And if you get to the fifth dimension, you're even higher than the fourth or the third, you see. So it's a lot of divisions and um, that really doesn't exist. That's a humanoid concept. Um, I've had the opportunity to uh, be, a, to work with other beings uh, from other planets, other universes. And uh, you mentioned to them about dimensions. They're going to ask you, what is that? Because mm -hmm. they don't, they're not functioning like that. So um, I, therefore, I say we're, we're dealing with realities. We're changing realities. So moving into a transitional portal, you're moving into a different transitional portal. Because... Because what we're also teaching, the realm and I are also teaching that where we are right now is a transitional portal. You just don't recognize it. Because you once you get into the next one, you don't remember the other one. Is it a choice to forget it? Or can we remember? We've agreed to mm. forget it. We've agreed to forget it. Because nobody can make us do anything. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I don't care what it is. And so we've decided as the force, we're going to continue this. So, okay. and when you go to transitional portals, it's not going outside. It's, it's moving deeper into your being. And what being are you? See, this is the thing. It's moving, when it's moving into a deeper part of your being, it's going inside of you. See, there, there's nothing external but illusions. So, but when you're going, when you're making your transition, you're out of that state of illusion. You can think about what you got to do and then you can make your decisions. What 
uh, what uh, lessons do I want to continue? Uh, what lessons have I successfully learned? Uh, is there a lesson that uh, maybe I think I got it, maybe I didn't. I think I'd like to repeat it again, you mm -hmm. know, um, and that's what we do. But when we're moving into a transitional portal, we're going deeper and deeper inside ourselves. So that means, what are we? How, because if, if I'm talking here and I'm saying I'm moving inside, people are going to think, okay, you're going into your physical body, you know, and then where do you go? You get stuck when you get to the back part. You see, you can't go any further. But we're talking about, yes, we are physical. We've created ourselves to be physical beings in this particular reality, in this particular laterality. But the movement, because we're not really physical, we're spiritual, the movement is always internal. Now, that's a challenge to grasp that because we see ourselves here and we look around, we see our walls, we see our chairs, we see all that stuff. So when, when I'm talking about we're going internally, it's a movement internal. You get deeper and deeper and deeper into understanding your divinity. That is the transition. That is the transition. And, and you're learning yourself more and more. Who am I? Who am I? We call that process, I was given the word enjoyment, E-N-J-O-I-N-M-E-N-T, enjoyment. So I'm enjoying, I'm coming to the reali realization at that, hey, all this has been an illusion including my physical body. So that's that when we're moving internally, we're not talking about movement in the physical body. We're talking about moving into our spiritualness of who we really are. That's what that is. Right. I see Death. you thinking. I see you thinking. <laughs> Well... I mean that that's a lot to that's a lot to intake, right? <laughs> and I'll be yeah. I'll go with that. It can be a lot. And then it can be it can be easy, depending on mm -hmm. where where you are in your understanding. Where you not no and and I know in one of our podcasts just last week or week before last week we were talking about beliefs. You know, you're going to move past a place of belief into knowingness mm -hmm. that you you truly know. And that's what the transitional part, you truly know that you are the force. You truly know that. And uh, all of this has been an experience. An right. experience. Yeah, that's it. An experience. Well, experience. Listeners. <laughs> We are going to take a short break, and when we come back, we will hear what the realm has to say about their quotation. So thank you for listening to Shifting Impressions, Conversations with the Realm of the Beings. We'll be right back. Hello. And welcome back to Shifting Impressions, Conversations with the Realm of Beings. We reached the point in the podcast where we get to weigh in with the realm directly. So, realm, are you with us? I'm sorry to leave because I'm not. <laughs> I have. I, they aren't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody, so I'm, go, I'm going this time. I'm, I'm going this time. I'm really. But, okay. For some odd reason, I just couldn't do it. Okay, here we go. That's why we always ask. I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going. Hmm. Thank you, listeners, for your patience. The we're, we're here now. We're here. Greta just didn't want us to come yet. I don't know what she was. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. So the quotation we've we've been discussing today is one suggestion from us 
is that you learn as many lessons as you can, unless you want to create to continue learning them as you progress through your transitional portals. So what wisdom do you have to share with us today? Mm. For those of you who believe in heaven, think about moving from one heaven to the next heaven, then to the next heaven, then to the next heaven, because you are eternal beings. There's no such thing as death. Everybody knows such thing as death. You will never, ever die. You just think you're going to die. You are experiencing the illusion that you have established for yourselves that's called death. You know, you wanted to figure out because you decided that the physical body, notice I said you decided that the physical body was not going to last forever. You decided that. And then all of you believed it. You're born, you're born into a family. And what does the family teach you? There's death. What happens when somebody dies? Nobody really knows, but you created heaven. You're going to heaven. Now, there are a few people that think that uh, they may be going to hell, but, uh, you know, that's that's your belief system. Belief, belief, belief. So you created this wonderful place where people walk around in white clothes. The angels are there with uh, big wings flapping in the wind, and you're feeling joyous. And you're saying to yourselves, I made it, I made it, I made it to heaven. And then you can just sit down there in heaven. Well, that would be interesting. That's an interesting thing uh, to be able to sit down and create heaven for yourselves. Uh, but anyway. You, there are lessons that uh, Lee and Greta were talking about that you said you were going to do. So you're going to complete them. That's part of your agreement in coming into this reality as a human being. Notice I said you chose to come here as a human being. So therefore you've accepted you've accepted to, um, to come here and to deal with the illusions that are present here. Because everything here is an illusion. You've decided to come into a holographic experience. Some of you understand the word holographic, so that's why I used it, to just help to understand what we are saying. You decided to come into this holographic experience. You programmed the computer. You said, I want to go down to earth. I want to be in this laterality number 25, you see. I want to be a male. You choose your families. You choose the epigenetics you want to go. I want to be experienced being alcoholic. I want to be experienced being wealthy as far as money is concerned. I want to experience that. So you choose everything. You've chosen to be fat or you've chosen to be thin. You've chosen to be short or you've chosen to be tall. And then, lo and behold, you go through what you all call conception. 
and then you go through uh, the female and you exit out of the birth canal and you're going, I have arrived. There you go. Welcome to the world of illusion. You see. Now, when you get ready to move out of here, and you've decided when you're going to finish this experience, finish this reality and move to the next reality, then you're going to look and say, okay, what did I learn here? What did I not learn? What do I still have to learn? Do I want to do a repeat of something because I want to make sure I learned it? You have all those choices. So you set it up again. You can create the same people. You can create the same family. It's like Greta said, Lee, Lee will be Lee. She can go through 15 transitional portals. She's still going to be Lee, still learning her lessons. You they see. change lessons. You can change lessons if you want, if you get bored doing the same thing over again. But <laughs> the thing is that you won't remember that. When you when mm -hmm. you finalize the creation of your transitional portal, where you're going to be, then you re-enter the world, the realities of illusion again. See, the only time you step out of that is when you're in between transitional portals. And when we say that you're in between transitional portals, what you're doing there is figuring out what I want to continue to learn and what I've learned. And where do I want to start uh, relearning again or start tackling the lessons that you agree to yourself? It's not an agreement with another entity. It's an agreement with yourself. You see, you give yourself the lessons. So, so we don't, how do okay. we know if you completed it or not? That's up to you. <laughs> you're going to know when you're in that space, if you did it or not, you'll be able to figure it out. Okay. Because, see, that little space, that reality between the transitional portals. See, the transitional portals are illusions. So when you're in the middle of them, you aren't caught up in the illusions. You just look point blank. Let me see. I'm still... Uh -huh still Joanne and I'm but now Joanne is still Joanne recognizes she's still Joanne knows that she's black white yellow pink green purple and knows that uh she came and she was in a transitional portal and this is what she was doing she knows all of that she remembers that but then she's got to say where do I want to go next and that's the decision and then she steps in to create another transitional portal. She may create everybody that she had in the last one she was in. Because, get this now, remember, everything is happening simultaneously. So all the transitional portals that you've been in are still active. So you're still active. I know this is a challenge. Uh, to learn, but it it'll it'll come. You'll get it. But but everything is going on simultaneously. Nothing because everything is energy. Energy does not die. One of your scientists discovered that energy does not die. It just energy changes form. Is because the energy is the force, so it cannot die ever. And everything that is brought to from probability, from a reality of probability to a reality of actualization stays. 
it stays as that probability while it has changed and come into a state of actualization. Why? Because the probability cannot die. The probability is still there. You can say the probability can change. Energy can change, yes. We see it changing in front of us all the time. Because we see it as we create our reality. It's always constantly in a state of changing. And it is that which assists us in creating our reality. So it is that which will assist us in creating another transitional portal. You see. But there's movement. There's movement inside those transitional portals. There's movement. There's movement, but it's internal movement. It's internal movement, it's not external movement. Because really, to be perfectly honest with you, there is no externality. You only think that things are external. They're really not. Do you have questions, Lee? Well, the best thing I've heard so far is that there's some moments of clarity. <laughs> 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 that there's some one moment of clarity and remembering and knowing between between <laughs> <laughs> yes it's like uh being on the beach and decide you want to go into the ocean and swim right so when you're in that waiting space that waiting reality you're on the beach and then you decide, you put on your swimsuit, you said, I'm ready to go again. And you go in and jump right back in the water, start swimming. Mm -hmm. again. Yes. So in that moment of clarity, can you decide to be the best? Like, is there so much clarity that in that moment you can say, okay, I this go round before <laughs> after I jump in, I want to remember that I am the force fully in that experience. And spoil and the fun. Happens. And spoil mm -hmm. the fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sure you can do anything you want to do. We can do anything we want to do. There, there is no limit to what we can do unless we so decide to limit ourselves. There's no which limit. We, which we constantly do, I think limit ourselves so realm we're just about to wrap up this podcast do you have some final words for the listeners this week enjoy enjoy your lives live it to the fullest degree in high vibration this is just vibration mm. but high vibration is bringing you peace is bringing you strength, is bringing you joy, is bringing you more understanding of self, high vibration. Although low vibration can do the same thing. You learn from low vibration as well. But stay high in the vibration of love and joy. Well, thank you, Realm, for sharing your wisdom once again this week. Thank you, Greta, for joining us. And most of all, thank you, listeners, for being a part of another podcast of Shifting Impressions, Conversations with the Realm of Beings, until we create each other again. Be well. Once again, thanks for joining us at Shifting Impressions, Conversations with the Realm of Beings on TransformationTalkRadio.com. As you have explored today's creation of reality experience with Lee, Yvonne, the realm, and me, Greta, each of you is being supported by us in further developing the understanding that you are not just an individual existing in linear time and space, but a multidimensional force of infinite possibilities who is connected to all. So begin to create the realities you want 
Join us every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Time and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Shifting Impressions at TransformationTalkRadio.com. So long until we create each other again next Friday.